Hello YouTube, this is going to be my review of my Jackson Kelly STD um, professional series. It's from the 90s. Um, it's got a JT580 LP licensed Floyd Rose. Um, it's made by a company, I believe it was Takeshi. Uh, when I opened it up, I looked at the bottom. It was on the the plate on the bottom. I don't really know what it's called. Um, <clears throat> I got it used. Uh, paid about $170. It's got a few scratches here and there. It's got some wear and tear, but uh don't really care about that. The bigger thing was a, a chunk out of the fretboard. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's right right there. Um, it's pretty deep, but uh, I don't really notice it, especially when bending. It just kind of string just kind of goes over it. It's got a bolt-on neck. Um, I don't really know what the pickups are, but um, they sound pretty good. Um, Three-way selector switch, one volume knob. Um, I think the only feature I'm not too happy with are the just the plain dot inlays. I really do like the Jackson shark fin inlays, but though the the guitars that have that from this era are a lot more expensive and even harder to find. Um, you can't tell by the video, but it's it's a very subtle purple color under certain lights. It's very purple. But uh, most of the times it's very dark black, so under stage lights it probably looks pretty cool if you see it when it's purple. Um, when I got it out of the box, it was I bought it used, so it was just set up horribly. It's from the 90s. It's really dusty, so I took apart, took it apart, and cleaned it, and I started doing a setup. And each of the strings is a different height. Because I took all the, I took the Floyd Rose completely apart, and when I put it back together, I I guess I put the saddles in the wrong order because all the strings are a different height. Um, I didn't even bother floating the bridge correctly because honestly, I just wanted to play it. I mean, you can see there it's it's way off balance. So I I hard tailed it, and I don't even have. I don't even have the locks on it or the or the truss rod cover and even with all that this guitar just plays amazingly I'm gonna play play a little bit on the clean channel here the strings at different at different heights it still feels very comfortable to play I'm gonna go down to Guitar Center Saturday and pay the friggin $55 or whatever it is to get it fully set up because I don't really feel like dealing with the whole Floyd Rose and the neck is almost completely flat and I don't know how to do neck relief so I'm gonna get that taken care of um, play a little bit on the distortion channel so you can hear how she sounds.
pinch harmonics out of this thing like no other. <laughs> The, um, the middle pickup sounds pretty good too, um, both the pickups together. Kind of a bluesy thing in the neck pickup. It's really smooth, I like how there's a big difference between the three different settings. Some of the guitars I have, it's... It's almost non-existent. It's got 24 frets. Um, the 24th fret is, is kind of hard to reach. I don't really use the 24th fret much anyway, so it's not a huge deal to me. But this cutaway here could go a lot deeper, basically. It kind of ends at the 23rd. But, um, overall it's just a great guitar. I love the way it feels, I love the way it plays, and it's not even completely set up yet. If you can find one of these out there on Guitar Center or eBay, I'd definitely recommend picking one up. Um, even in shoddy condition, it's still just an incredible guitar. And um, it, that's my time. Thank you.